Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ability here, and in this video I will be maging the entire Intelligence Rogue set. This is the set laid out here. It has two 1% Exos, an MP Exo on the Croco Belt, and an AP Exo on the Stalic Shield. So the set gives 1400 Intelligence if you include the percent power, and it gives 223 fire damage, which is nice. Uh, the set does not utilize a single set bonus. That's something that I might be changing in the future as well as Possibly looking into Ebony Dofus and Domokuro But for now, this is the set that I'm going to go with and let's move into maging the first item So for this Stalic shield I do not have the footage of me maging it and that's because this shield is actually three years old this was for the original PVM team, which was a team of eight. I made this for the Eliotrope. You can see that I did mage it. It has mage viability on it. So the stats on it are pretty decent. It's really good that I have 20 dodge because the rogue as of right now is not wearing an Ebony Dofus, which gives dodge. So hopefully I'll be able to dodge at least the lower tier of mobs with this amount. And then the power is the only thing that's slightly lower than I would want it to be, but we can actually just fix that right now. Oh, nope, just kidding, not doing that. Next item. So I decided to do a fire damage overmage on this Shylock ring, and that is because fire damage really helps rogues bomb damage, especially early on in the fight. So if there's ever a dungeon boss or a dreams creature that I need to kill within the first few turns, fire damage is really going to help me out with that. It's possible to overmage until I hit 20 fire damage on this ring. However, I decided that it might not be worth it because it would cost so much. So here are the range crits back and I decide to just go for paw fire damage and boom, the first one lands. So now we can move on to the second Shylock ring. So this second Shylock ring will be getting a fire damage overmage as well. And the reason that I am choosing not to exo these rings is because they only give 15 fire damage, which leaves room to overmage the fire damage. Whereas some of my other items give 20 fire damage, meaning that I cannot overmage them. So here I go for a cheese mage. It drops whiz, but the whiz crits back very nicely. And that allows us to move on to the next item. So for this Merdi Odin cloak, it also only gives 15 fire damage, which allows room for some overmage in it. However, because it gives an AP and range, I wanted to make sure that it was at very good stats before I finished this mage. And heals are something that I wanted to take into account. And here I drop the heals when I land the fire damage, so I debate whether it's worth trying to crit them. However, not having a dedicated healer, I decide it's worth it and it pays off. We can now move on to the next item. So for this Scapu helmet, it also only gives 15 fire damage, meaning that I can overmage it. And because it gives an AP and a range, I wanted to keep a lot of the stats high. And here I go for some small fire damage. I have room for two, neither of those land. However, the paw has a critical success on the last attempt. We can move on to the next item. So for these unnameable boots, I decided not to go for a fire damage overmage because they give 18 fire damage, which is only room for two fire damage overmage. So for the order of the team, I want it to go Panda, Rogue, Elio, Iop. And in order to achieve that, initiative order I needed to put two initiative transcendence runes on the rogue set in some place so here I decide that this is good enough and I put the initiative on there and we can move on to the next item So for this Steely Mace, I decided to put the second initiative transcendence rune on it, and that is because there's no source of sync and it also gives 20 fire damage already. So there's not much that I could do on this weapon except for transcendence rune. I also want to make sure to have hunting weapon on it because ability is a level 200 hunter. 
So here I go for the hunting rune and it actually crits on which is nice but I'm unhappy with the wisdom until I get two paw crits and I decide that this is good enough and I slap the transcendence rune on it. I'm satisfied with how this turned out and it's on to the next item. So for this rune needle amulet, I decided to go for a spell damage exo mage, and that's because there's not much better I can do with it. There's no room for an intelligence over mage, there's no room for a fire damage over mage, and I don't necessarily need any more transcendence runes. So I decided spell damage would be nice because it will increase my bomb line damage if I am melee or ranged, which I would enjoy. So here I have two tries at spell damage, and the second one lands, and then the AP crits back, and that allows us to move on to the last item. I decided to put the MPXO of this set on this Croco belt, and that's because there's not too many other mages that could benefit me on this belt. There's no room for a fire damage over mage, and there's only room for 20 intelligence over mage. However, an intelligence over mage really isn't that practical because another mage would be more useful than it. So here, I am just looking to get decent stats and try some MP exos. I ended up getting this MPXO in 25 tries, so I was very lucky. And here I go for the 25th rune, and it lands. So that was very lucky here, and that completes the Intel Rogue set. I had a request in my last set maging video to do a damage preview at the end of all the maging, so that's what we're going to do next. Alright guys, we have the Intelligence Rogue here in the dojo. We're going to do a quick damage test. I am not yet wearing the Vulbus because I have not yet quested for it. But here I want to show you my turn 1 combo, which would be something along the lines of putting a gluing bomb here, and then these guys there, and we're going to boost these intelligence bombs, and then place another intelligence bomb here. Where do I want to put this one? Put it here. All right, and now we can boost like this. Last breath, and this is the turn two combo. So from 50,000 HP, I can deal 16,000 damage in two turns. And with the rest of the team supporting the rogue, it could be more than that with vulnerability and such. So that is a large amount of damage, 16,000 burst. So I'm pretty happy with that. My shot pellets hit 940 on a crit. And, oh, I crit again. Um, it looks like about 800 without a crit. Yep, 800. Extraction, 800 on a crit. And then without a crit, 760. Steely mace without weapon skill, 800. From close combat, oh, oh a crit. The set actually has okay crits, so it looks like Steely Mace hits about the same, um, whether it's ranged or not. And then Lightning Strike hits 700 on a crit, Leak Pie hits 400. So now let's test my maximum bomb damage here. So I'm going to do the same setup as I did on turn 1. And we're going to see just how much my bombs can hit. So we're just boosting these two before we put the third one out. Oh, I don't have line of sight. Um, where do I want to put this? Put it there. And now we can do a double boost using that one. And we can imposture a couple times. Move these all around. And I'll say next turn we will go for it. So this is without powder. So let's see, from 25,000 something, I'll get an exact number, we'll open a calculator here. So this is 25,917. And let's see just how much this does. So from 20, oh, well I actually killed it. Um, but we can figure out how much it would have done. So here we have 8,400, that's the bomb wall damage, which is being affected by my shield and other final damage bonuses. And then, 
7,000, 6,900, 6,500, 4,000. So it's this number here plus about, we're missing 1,500 at least. So we'll add 1,500 here. So that was 27,000 damage in one turn from maximum boost. I am very happy with that number. And the Intel Rogue is really shaping up to be a massive damage dealer. Finishing this Intelligence Rogue set marks the halfway point of the team sets being completely maged. And now I have the Agility Eliotrope as well as two IOP sets left. If you enjoy these videos and want to see me do the same for those, be sure to let me know. This has been Ability, and I'll catch you next time.